women were extremely in the forefront. As a matter of fact, there's several letters from Toussaint Louverture explaining how when they go on a battlefield, the first people to get on the field were the children, less than 10 years old. They, because their body was supple and they could crawl and go to the enemy, steal ammunition, steal different things that we needed to bring back to us for the battle. The second people to go on the battlefield are the women. The women had this ability to make a different kind of noise with their mouth. Ah! Like crickets invading an area. So it will confuse the, uh, the, the, the enemy camp. And when you're trying to figure where is this coming from, what is it? And it was the women laying on the ground making this noise and coming behind the children. And again, because of the suppleness of their bodies, that's why they had this role. It was also their role to demobilize the cannon, because our people did not have cannons. So the women had to get to the enemy camp, fight to demobilize the cannon before the men could get on, or the warriors, men and women, could get on the field. And they tell you sometimes things would be so tough a woman would be so desperately trying to get to demobilize the cannon, she could take her own newborn baby and stick the head of the baby in the cannon mouth if she could find nothing else. And what is this lesson? Collective is more important than the individual. Yes, I love my baby, but I can have another baby. But there are a thousand people there who must be free. So if I lose one baby and manage to free a hundred, then that's a good thing. So our own perception of things, we're operating on our own rules, not on borrowed rules, misunderstood, poorly, uh, too poorly transmitted rules, rules transmitted upside down. No, this was from within. So that's why it worked well. When the French cut Bookman's head, stick it on a pole, so you, they thought they would frighten us and make uh, stop the revolution, people would stop by Bookman's head and say, don't worry, Bookman, you are ahead, I am in the back, but I have to do as much as you did. In the history books, they just tell us they stick the head and put it there, but they don't tell us what we say when we go. So, now, besides being helped by elders, by griots, I must also say, I'm helped by the spirit. Some information come to me at night, in dreams. For example, Lieutenant Sani Biller. I had read of this woman nowhere. I did not know, but several nights, time and time again, she came back to my dream. You're always talking about Clara Rose. You're always talking about Suzanne Liberty. What about me? At first, I didn't know who she was. Then one day, she told me, I am Lieutenant Sunny Belair. Now I start looking in books, looking in documents, look, searching for her name. No, I find General Charles Belair. But I couldn't find Lieutenant Sunny Belair. It took me three or four years before I could find her information. But she had already given me all the information in dreams. The Papers only confirmed. So, if we are ourselves, if we work hard each day to become more and more of an Aisha, because right now we're not Aisha. We are some sort of, especially those of us who went to school, we've turned into something other than ourselves. We are away from our own nature. That's why we're no longer in harmony with nature. In the Asian tradition, when I go to a tree to get leaves, I must talk to the tree. Explain to him, I have a headache, I have a stomachache. I'm going to take three leaves to make a tea. Please help me with this problem. Now, if you say that to someone, oh, talk to the tree, what is this? You crazy? But the tree is alive, as alive as you, and smarter than you. So our people, in 1804, they were themselves. 
They had their own vision, their own language, and in practically everything, created their own tactics, strategies, and methodology. Today, we only talk about, well, we have to have equivalence with French. We have to have equivalence with Canada. We have to have equivalence. No, then you're not producing Haitian children. You're not producing Haitian citizens. You're not producing rulers who want to defend Haiti's interest. For Haiti's interest to be there, first we have to build Haitian within, deep within. And our entire worldview has to be Haitian. Then we create an educational system that will produce Haitian citizens. Not people who want to go abroad. Not people who want to run away whenever there's the slightest little problem in the country. Not people who run away and hide, and when things go well, they come back and want to be president. No. But most of all, we have to be in connection with the spirits of the land, the spirit of the water, the spirit of the year, the spirit of God. Once you reconnect with the spirit, then you find who you are. And when you are who you are, there is nothing that you cannot face and surmount. Can you tell us about voodoo and its role? Voodoo is a child of Ifa. And uh, of course, as you can see, nature. Nature has this ability to create and recreate and recreate, but never making the same thing. Every time it recreates, even if it's from the same material, but the new creation is something new. So, yes, Voodoo is the child of Ifa, but Ifa is Ifa, and Voodoo is Voodoo. Basically what it is, it is a belief system that says human beings are just a part of nature. Unlike what the Bible says, God gave dominion to humans over all forms of life, so an unjust God, in our belief, we are all equal. I am not more than the tree. The earth is not more than me. I'm not more than the fish or the bird. We're just different expressions of life. And we each need the other. I need the vegetables so I will survive. I need the water to live. I need fire to cook. But I must treat with all, each one of them, with the proper respect due to each. So in the doom, when you respect, respect the invisible in all forms of life, then when you treat with the form of life, you in fact treating not with that form, but with the spirit of that form. So that is why, if I'm going to or libation, for example, then it's not just the water. And if I don't have water, I can pour libation anyway, because I can call on the spirit of the water, and the gesture will suffice. If I go to somewhere and they tell me this tree is a goo, sure, it's the spirit of the goo that is there. That's why I can go to one place and this is a goo, and I go to another place and the stone is a goo. Makes no difference. Because we're dealing with the spirit, the force, the power, not the matter. So when you really understand the doom, you are not attached to matter. You use matter. 